Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a quick look at a new firearm that I picked up. As you guys can see by the title, this is the Glock 42. Now in my area, uh, this has been one of the hottest selling firearms for the past couple months, uh, specifically after it was debuted in SHOT Show at the beginning of the year. Uh, I liked it because I was very intrigued by the fact that Glock was able to keep the same manual of arms and form factor in this gun that you would find in its larger counterparts like the 26 and the 19 and so forth. Uh, it's basically a smaller compact size of the Glock that we all know and love. So um, let me go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what comes in the box. So you, obviously you get your standard Glock box. And then inside the box itself, you get the firearm, and then you get two magazines. Now these are both six round magazines. And then you get the other uh, usual contents, the lock, the brush, your manuals and whatnot. So let me go ahead and take the, uh, the gun out and show you a little bit of it. Now, obviously this is not gonna be a full blown review because by this time there's already tons of reviews on this particular firearm out there. So let me go ahead and eject this mag and show you guys there's nothing in the chamber. Uh, mags are empty. Let's go ahead and look at the mags first. Uh, like I mentioned, they're both uh, six round mags and chambered in 380, as the firearm is. Uh, same, you know, standard mags that you would find uh, and know with any other Glock. So there's uh, no big surprises with that. The gun itself, obviously, at first sight is, uh, you know, when you hold it in your hand, it's very, very small. Now, obviously, it's, uh, it's meant to be uh, an easily concealable gun. Very lightweight, very thin, but you know, you still get the same thing that you would get with any other Glock as far as, uh, you know, your sights and the, you know, the mag release and things like that. Now, this is modeled after a Gen 4, even though it doesn't say it, but you do get the, um, the Gen 4 style mag release, uh, the stippling on the, on the grip. Now, the one thing that I did like, which I do not like on the Gen 4s, is that the stippling was not as aggressive. Uh, I don't like my grips to be very aggressive. I feel that they, um, you know, I hold on to the gun hard enough that they, after you're shooting, it it's, it tends to start digging into my palms, and I don't really like that. So I was very happy that they didn't do that, especially since you're going to be trying to conceal this particular firearm, uh, maybe by putting it in a pocket or inside the waist. You don't want that rubbing up against your skin and it being uncomfortable. So. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a full-blown review on this. What I did want to do is I wanted to bring in another firearm for size comparison, like I always do in my reviews, um, just to give you a feel for the difference between this particular firearm and something that you might be more accustomed to seeing. And this is my Glock 19. Again, it's empty. So uh, a lot of people know the Glock 19. They know the size, the weight, and everything like that. So I figured if I put these two side by side, you'd be able to see and uh, get a little bit better feel for the size difference between the two. So here's the 42 next to the 19. Obviously, in the middle here, you, you'll have a 26, which is which would probably be the in-between between these two. But like I mentioned, a lot of people know the size of the 19. It's more of a... Uh, a more common uh, firearm that you would see so this would probably be a better uh, show of the difference so here it is um, so you guys can see how much bigger the 19 is or how much smaller the 42 is in that sense all right and then where you really see the difference is right here in the width of the actual grip and obviously that's what's gonna you know determine how much uh, you know, printing or bulkier it'll be if you wear it inside or outside the waist. And, uh, you know, you can make your decisions there. Now, I know a lot of people um, might be hesitant on purchasing this particular firearm because it is chambered in 380. Now, again, it all depends on your particular use for the firearm. You know, a lot of people are purchasing this as a secondary firearm, uh, maybe like an ankle or, or an ankle holster carry or a pocket carry or something like that. So in that particular instance, then, you know, obviously it, it'll, you know, it's, it'll serve the purpose. 380 is, in my opinion, more than enough for that. Now, if it is going to be your primary firearm uh, and, you know, you, you want maybe something with a little bit more kick or, um, something that maybe has a little bit more capacity because again, you're only getting six rounds of 380 in this versus uh, here's the Glock mag. You get 15 rounds of nine millimeter. So you guys can see the size difference between the mags there. Double stack versus uh, kind of staggered stack, more of a single stack, but it's staggered. So again, it depends on the usage that you're going to give to the particular firearm. Um, I personally have no 
um, worries about carrying this as a primary carry. Again, it all depends on what I'm going to be carrying that day. Maybe I'm wearing shorts. I don't want something too heavy, too bulky, or you know, maybe I'm wearing a shirt that it might print too much. So this will definitely serve that purpose. Now, I will be um, trying out maybe carrying it in an ankle holster as well. Uh, currently, my ankle carry is a Ruger LCR. So, you know, a polymer revolver, very lightweight. So this comes in very light as well. So I might, um, you know, explore carrying this in an ankle as well. Um, right now, what I have laying around was this uh, Uncle Mike's number one holster. And it fits it very, very nice. So you guys can see there. I just had this uh, from another firearm that I previously owned. And it fits perfectly in there. You know, it comes all the way up. So none of, no part of the firearm will be touching my body. So this is what I'm going to be carrying it in uh, inside the waist for the time being until I find something else. So there it is. This is the... Uh, New to me and new to the market, Glock 42 chambered in uh, 380 auto. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.